9.5, we are not learning anything new. We're just combining what we've already learned into two steps. So let's practice doing that. So every single problem you do today, which is going to be on a worksheet, is going to be doing two transformations on the same graph. So let's say we started with this triangle right here, and they asked us to reflect two times. So we're going to reflect over this first line, and this is just a sketch to the best of your ability to draw a reflection of that triangle. So try to draw the mirror image of it over that first black line. Okay, and then you're going to reflect it over the second one. You're not reflecting the red one, okay? You're reflecting your second triangle over that next line. So it ends up looking like this. So that's with parallel lines. Let's look at what happens when the two reflecting lines are not parallel. Okay? So we're going to do the same thing for the first step, is just to reflect this over the first line. And then we're going to take that blue triangle and reflect it over the second line. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. So what I want down here below is if you take the red one and look at how it goes to the green one, what did we really do to the object? We slid it to the right, okay, which is called a translation. What about if the lines aren't parallel? How did the red one change to the green one? Yeah, it rotated. So this isn't anything new. It may look new because you've never seen glide reflection before. But what it's essentially asking you to do is first glide it or translate it, slide it, and then reflect it. So it's a two-step composition. Okay, a picture of that is on the next slide. Is taking this B, first sliding it, and then that second B, then reflecting it over something. So we're going to practice one of these two-step transformations called a composition on this page right here. Okay, so they're always going to give you the two things to do. You have to do them in the order that they give them to you, or it's not going to end up in the right spot. So it says we're going to first slide it and then reflect it over this line. Okay, so what direction are we going if we're going along the vector 0, negative 4? Down 4, right? The second number is your up-down movement. Okay, so we're not going left or right, but we are going down 4. So the whole triangle needs to move down 4 units. And we do have to label. A few kids were forgetting the labels with the primes on the quiz yesterday. So that's where our new triangle is. And now that we've moved it, we need to take that second triangle, that image, and reflect it over the line they tell us to, which in this case is x equals 1, which I have drawn on here already. So a reflection, remember, is just the same distance on each side of the line. So m double prime, because we've done two things to it, is now in this location. L double prime is here. And N ends up there. Okay, now on the answer key, just to make it very clear, on all of your graphs today, I shaded in the very final image. So that's where it should end up. 
Make sure you do them in order. It says number one, do this. Number two, do this. Don't do number two first. Okay? Otherwise it won't end up in the right spot. Questions? Okay, so just a really quick summary of the ones that we have learned so far would be reflection, translation, or slide, rotation, and then this new one, which isn't really new, it's just two put together, a glide reflection. Um, on the test, I might ask you to tell me how much something rotated, okay, which would require a protractor. But all you're going to do, and I'll slide this over on top of here so that you can see it, and I'm not going to have you all grab a protractor. But what you're going to do is you're going to, this is your point of rotation right here. You're going to connect it with a straight line to any one of the corners on your object. Okay, it doesn't matter which one. Then you're going to go back to the point of rotation and connect it to the exact same corner that you picked on the other one. What direction do we rotate? Okay, so did this go left or is it going right? Okay, so we want to know how far it moved. So we're just going to measure that angle. There we go. Okay, so about how big is that angle? Somewhere around there, sure, between 65 and 70. Okay, so that's how you're going to measure how far something rotated. Just draw those two lines and then measure how big the angle is between them. Any questions on the stuff we have today?